North and South Korea have exchanged warning shots along their western sea border. South Korea's military says its navy fired those shots to repel a North Korean ship that had crossed into the sea boundary between the North and South. Pyongyang's military says it responded by firing 10 artillery shots as a warning to the South. A correspondent in Seoul, Gene McKenzie, says military tensions on the peninsula have risen in the past few weeks. This happened overnight. A North Korean ship, according to the South Korean military, crossed this borderline in the sea and into South Korean waters. Now, the South Korean Navy issued warnings to try and stop the boat from crossing, and they fired warning shots to get it to stay back, but it crossed anyway. North Korea then responded to the shots that had been fired by the South Korean military by a couple of hours later firing what it said were warning shots of its own. But, you know, this border between this, this sea border between the two countries, it is disputed, and you have to remember that these countries are, are still at war, technically. So these sorts of incursions can be quite serious, but often accidents do happen along this seafront. What's interesting about what's happened overnight here is that the South Korean military, the South Korean Defense Ministry today, has come out and said that they think that this incursion, as they're calling it, was done deliberately, and that they are concerned that North Korea could be using this as a way to sort of increase tensions and build towards what could be future and even more serious provocations. Because, as you say, we are at a situation now where tensions on this peninsula are probably the most heightened they've been in, in about five years. It has been really quite a remarkable month, even by North Korean standards. Not only has this been a record year for their missile testing, but in the last month in particular, we've seen them launch a barrage of missiles. They've held a series of military drills, um, fly, flying their warplanes right up near to the border with South Korea. We've seen them fire hundreds of shells of artillery into the sea. Uh, and all this, as you say, is sort of ramping up this kind of military tension on the peninsula. But it comes at a time where South Korea and the United States have been holding large-scale military exercises of their own. Now, the backdrop to this is, of course, that the two sides, North Korea and particularly the United States, have been at stalemate for many years. Their negotiations about North Korea's nuclear program have been stalled. And in the meantime, North Korea has been continuing to build up its weapons and to, to continue with its nuclear program. Now, the way that South Korea and the US have responded is to bolster their defense of the peninsula and hold these large-scale military exercises. But what it's done is it's antagonized Kim Jong-un, who, who hates these military exercises. But but rather than being a direct response to the military exercises, there is some concern, actually, as I said, that North Korea is kind of using this military escalation to prepare for its next step, to justify its next move. And many believe that that could be testing its first nuclear weapon in five years.